guys, it's Melanie, and in today's video, I'm gonna be making and showing you guys some of my favorite TikTok recipes. These are things that I found or were kind of inspired from all those recipes on food TikTok. There are so many great ideas, and I did decide to like spruce some of them up, upcycle them. Not upcycle, what am I? I did change a couple around and these are the things that I actually like regularly eat now because they're just so good. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and follow my TikTok because I also post a lot of recipes that I make on there. If you want to see more food videos, make sure to let me know. But other than that, let's get started. Hey guys, so we are starting off this recipes video with something that I love to make all the time. I actually posted this one on my Instagram before because I love posting my food and so many people were asking what it is. You're going to be shocked because it's actually so 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 simple basically i'm sprucing up a little tiktok recipe that i've seen um yeah that one so i just start off with some frozen berries this is me aggressively trying to crush my berries these are also crumbled ones which is so cool they taste even better i just grabbed this coconut smoothie from trader joe's and use that instead of milk it's the exact same thing you just use that instead of milk and then i let it sit for about five minutes and it kind of like freezes itself from the frozen berries then i top it with whatever i feel like usually i just do some soy nut butter sometimes honey for sweetness if i wasn't allergic to oats i would definitely top this with like some type of granola or anything that you would basically put on top of a smoothie bowl oh. maybe some seeds which i'm also unfortunately allergic to Ooh, sometimes i put coconut flakes on it that's slap this is the finished thing it only takes like a couple seconds so it's perfect for short quick morning breakfast or a little snacks so 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 good totally recommend trying this one out recipe number two is another one of my favorites that i i think i've posted several tiktok videos of this because i love it so much y'all know i am obsessed with watermelon and in smoothie form it is just as good all i do is take some frozen watermelon somehow it always ends up turning out into this like massive block oh my gosh um the, uh this is me using a knife which is probably not the safest thing so i, I don't really recommend this but you know like I was really desperate for my watermelon smoothie at this point. Now, when you get a bad watermelon, it's kind of not the best texture. It's a little mushy. Usually, that's when I freeze it so that I can make it into a fabulous smoothie and still enjoy it. The rest of this is really self-explanatory. Kind of just eyeball it and use liquid to watermelon ratio until it blends well. Today, I'm also using coconut water instead of coconut milk just because I want it to be a little more like a slushy consistency, which is all up to you. You can use literally whatever liquid you want you could also use like normal water i guess then you're literally drinking like 99.9% .9 water but that's fine so i just blend it up as much as i can as you can tell it's quite the arm workout because i have to shake it so much but that is 100% worth it because my smoothie is done and it's so delicious really quick and easy to make literally two ingredients and so refreshing especially when it's hot out Hello guys, I know we're halfway into this video, but I am now realizing that we're taking a little detour And it was kind of like TikTok recipes that I revamped or like my favorite ones But then I found some that I really actually just want to try out because I've never made them before and they look really cool So this is partially gonna be like me testing reviewing recipes and then also like recommending them but you know who knows maybe these ones are gonna be my new favorite ones I'm gonna be making cloud bread which seems really easy it only takes a few ingredients but it's it's taken a while for me to get those ingredients because i kept going to the store and then forgetting they don't take apple pay um so it's like a week later but you know nonetheless we're making cloud bread right now oh. let's see how it works you don't even need flour do we have normal sugar i don't think we do oh okay well oh fabulous I hope this is enough. All right, guys, for my first TikTok recipe that I am testing, cloud bread. I have absolutely no clue what cloud bread really is or what it's supposed to be, but it just looks very, very intriguing to me. Okay, three egg whites. It also absolutely frazzled my mind that it's only like three ingredients and only takes like under 30 minutes to make because bread usually takes like forever. And this one looks so fun. This is me starting out with the eggs, and this is me, um... Ah, uh, what do I do if I get the yolk in there? Doing a bad job with the eggs because I still don't really know how to crack them. I just don't know what to do about that. So this is me getting yolk into the egg white, which you're not really supposed to do, but I, I just don't know what I'm doing, okay? So the next step, you're supposed to use a hand mixer. Basically, mix and whip the egg whites until they form stiff peaks, which is, um... 
advanced baking terminology for when like it's super stiff and peaky you know which i've never really done before and it didn't really work out on my part so long story short i ended up whipping these stupid egg whites for literally 10 minutes and i just don't know what stiff peaks are so i just kept whipping them and then i just got bored and i ended up going to the next step which was adding sugar and i was already running low on sugar so i basically used up all of that i don't even know what corn starch is me shortly after realizing that it's just not working and i definitely screwed up guys my stiff peaks are not forming and i'm getting a little frustrated so we're just gonna try again okay take two yay doing the same exact steps starting off with the egg whites and being very 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 careful not to get any yolk in there because i am like 99 percent sure that's why my peaks were not stiffening but that's uh fine i got to practice my egg yolk separation skills once again once i got all of my egg whites i just brought out my hand mixer once again and started whipping those baddies all the way up i think this is working better okay slowly but surely progressing on to step two i brought out the granulated sugar once again and here in this moment is the face of melanie realizing that she is unfortunately out of granulated sugar so we had to resort to truvia i had to do a little bit of some math calculations for the sugar to truvia conversion ratio but that was my math for the day which was great we persevere I'm gonna keep trying cornstarch time i swear this doesn't make stiff peaks. I'm gonna lose it. Spoiler, yay! It started making stiff peaks, or at least I think so. I still don't really know what they are, but this is me mixing it for another 10 minutes. Is this a stiff peak? Close enough, I don't know. Well, we're just gonna add the food coloring and bake it. See if it works. See if it tastes good at least, you know? What color should we do? Blue, purple, pink, pink, purple, blue. Blue. Okay, we're doing light blue. So, self explanatory once again, here is Melanie adding in some food coloring to make it a nice little baby blue color. Dude, tell me why I'm sore from this. I hope that's right. I don't know. Okay, guys. Well, in the video, they always like turn it upside down and it doesn't fall out, but I'm just not gonna do that because I think it'll fall out, but I'm gonna bake it anyway. Same spatula. The dude literally just scooped it, like flopped it on this thing. He put it in the oven. Oh, I hate that stuff. He put it in the oven for 25 minutes at 300. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna follow it. Look at this. Look at this. It looks promising, right? He said you can do any shape. I'm just gonna do um, um, whatever he did. <laughs> It's so jiggly. <laughs> oh, it looks it like looks shaving cream. That was probably my favorite part of the entire recipe. I felt like an artist. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're going in. 25 minutes, 300 degrees. Better work. It's been 25 minutes, so I'm going to take it out and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> it just looks weird. Is this what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> Look at it. It looks like a giant meringue. Taste test it after it cools. Yay! Guys, so far this is a success in my books just because it looks really cool and it was fun making it. I don't know what to do now. Yeah, I, mm. Do I cut it? Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I highly recommend putting it on parchment paper because that's where I made my mistake. But look at that. Cloud bread. Wow. Cloud bread. Look at that. That's so bizarre. Ooh, glistening. Okay, taste test time. Try it. That's so odd. Like a cloud. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. Like, I definitely eat it. I just don't know what it is. Maybe that's what meringue tastes like, but I don't know what meringue is. I would give this a mousse. I don't know. Six? I don't know. It's interesting. I think I just like anything that's sweet, and it's sweet. Try it. Why does it look so moist? Because it is moist. Isn't it bread? Kind of. It's like meringue. I've never had meringue. I haven't either. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's really sweet. What would you give it? I'm gonna be like, yeah, on it. The one. <laughs> Would not make that again. Well, actually making it was really fun. I don't know if I even did that right. I'm not sure. Someone tell me. Oh my god. This lighting is just horrendous. And I look a little dead. But 
cakes. I want to make a mug cake. Hey guys, this recipe is actually like I'm cheating the system a little bit. It is actually a Instagram recipe, not TikTok, but it just looks so good. I really wanted to try it. So I figured I'd plop it in here. Might as well. Let's watch this. Basically, it's a cinnamon roll mug cake. I love cinnamon rolls so much, but baking them themselves takes so long. Ooh, if I can make it in less than five minutes in a mug cake, dude, I am all for that. Banana, flour, baking powder, milk. This is almond milk, but I will be using coconuts because unfortunately, I am highly allergic to almonds. Coconut sugar, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna be using Rubia stuff. Cinnamon, coconut oil. So excited for this. Okay, recipe number two, not even a TikTok recipe this time. Sorry for really pranking you guys into watching this video. I'll put the recipe up though. I'm a sucker for mug cakes, okay? So oh, as we always do, we professional microwave bakers always do. We start with our dry ingredients and then move on to some milk that I apparently don't know how to pour. Oh my God. Once I got my milk in the cup, or you know, at least some of it in the cup, I just mixed it up a little more, added some baking powder because we want our cinnamon rolls to be nice and voluptuous. This is what my dough was looking like. It was pretty liquidy. I might have used too much um, milk. I don't know. I have no clue. So I ended up adding more flour. And as you can see here, it was just so, so, so sticky. Maybe I had too much banana. I have no clue. It's just ratios, but um, it was still kind of fun. It felt like I was a pre schooler playing with play-doh but it also felt like there was so much dough on my hands i just didn't know what to do with myself but once i got the hang of things i just rolled it out and then i was a little too lazy to mix this in a separate bowl but i just put the cinnamon and the trivia because i was out of sugar from the last recipe and then i rolled it and cut it and i revealed my pretty little cinnamon rolls I'm gonna lie really proud of these things really adorable shove them back into my mug and then into the microwave for like a minute ish hey that looks kind of cool okay like for the sauce you're supposed to use a combination of coconut milk a little bit of sugar they use coconut sugar i just don't have coconut sugar after I struggled to open my can of coconut milk, I just used a little bit of that and mixed it with some more of my Truvia to make my little glaze. I also eyeballed this. There was probably something about this in the recipe, but we know by now that I don't know how to follow recipes. And it ended up tasting good. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing that. Okay, guys, that looks kinda good to me. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at her. I think that looks kinda, kinda good. Oh my gosh. And especially considering how long this took, it took like less than five minutes. Okay, I'm so excited to taste test this. I have high hopes for this, guys, not even gonna lie. Hmm, that is not bad at all. All right, my honest review. I would just say I could have definitely added more sugar to the, the batter, but I also think that's just because I have the massive sweet tooth. I didn't really measure that part, not gonna lie. I also think I could have added more cinnamon, but that's also just because I'm obsessed with cinnamon and I could eat it straight from the can. I'm definitely finishing this because it's pretty good. I'm definitely doing this again. I give this a solid eight out of 10 maybe. That sounds good. All right, guys, so those were some of my favorite recipes that I found or were inspired by TikTok. If you want to see more TikTok-inspired videos or more food videos, make sure to let me know in the comments. And make sure to follow me on TikTok and say hi. I'd love to say hi to you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.